Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we are taking the example of scroll top and we're using this to allow us to uh, disable a checkbox. In this case, I have uh, a text area here with just some fake uh, Latin terms and conditions in. Uh, the I've, I've sort of seen this effect listed on a few websites um, where you have to scroll to the bottom of a text area in order for uh, a particular checkbox to be uh, enabled to actually agree to these terms and conditions. At the moment this checkbox is disabled uh, and I'm clicking on it at the moment and I can't actually check it. So essentially what I have to do is scroll all the way to the bottom for this checkbox to become enabled. Uh, then I can say you know continue with registration or uh, however uh, this works in this case uh, this is obviously just an example so what I'm going to do is go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see that when I do reach the bottom uh, this checkbox now becomes available and I can go ahead and click on it now we're going to be using the scroll top function uh, in jQuery to do this uh, but we're going to need to you know make some additional calculations because it's not as easy as it appears um, because we've styled this particular text area at a certain height we can't just return the height and you scroll top um, to actually calculate this we're going to need to do some uh, additional calculation so uh, we'll go back to our text editor or go over to our text editor and start writing this out okay so we're over to our text editor we are in index.php which just literally has this text area here uh, with the text inside uh, and then underneath we've got a checkbox with the ID of agree the text area ID is term so we can use these to both reference uh, each one uh, and yeah that's it really we've just got a checkbox we've also got an ext.js file which just is uh, essentially an external JavaScript file uh, we've also included style.css to style this text area uh, let's just take a look at style.css uh, all I've done is given it a height here and a width here uh, so that just makes it look like you uh, you saw uh, when I showed you the example uh, and obviously yeah like I said we have ext.js which is our external JavaScript file so inside our uh, external JavaScript file we want to go ahead and uh, initially disable the check uh, the text uh, the checkbox sorry first of all uh, if we go over to our browser you can see that at the moment uh, it's enabled by default uh, and nothing's really happening here in terms of functionality so the first thing we want to go ahead and do is actually disable this uh, I'm going to do this after the document is ready so I'm going to use document.ready and inside create the function of the code that I'm going to run uh, once the DOM is available so uh, the first thing we want to do is set an attribute to this agree ch uh, agree checkbox uh, to disable it so all we do is we say um, uh, reference this with hash and agree so we're using a ID selector and we just want to set an attribute of this and that attribute is disabled and the value of that is disabled so when we go uh, and return to our browser and refresh this checkbox has been automatically disabled and we can't do anything uh, and obviously still we don't have any functionality here okay so now what we want to go ahead and do is uh, create an event handler for when this uh, text area has a scroll event ie when we pull the uh, scroll bar down or back up again so when we do uh, scroll we want to then you know make some calculations get some heights and, and everything uh, and then obviously perform an if statement to remove the attribute disabled uh, if it's at the correct height so uh, let's go ahead and uh, select terms which is our text area uh, obviously over here our idea of terms uh, and we want to go ahead and append the scroll event handler to this now inside here we create another function and all the code inside of here will be that that is run uh, when we actually perform a scroll so when we scroll up or down so uh, let's go ahead and uh, create some variables and set some uh, values to this and then I'll, I'll explain about uh, a bit about how it works so the first one is the text area height uh, and this is equal to uh, the t obviously our terms or we could just say this uh, because we've already selected uh, the terms here so this will be this and then afterwards array key 0 
uh, and then dot scroll height. Now let's go ahead and alert this to the user. Uh, in fact, no, that's probably not a good idea. Let's go ahead and create a temporary div just down here, uh, just so we can get some information fed back to us. So I'm just going to call this uh, div feedback. So we want to say selecting feedback, apply the text to this as text area underscore height. So we'll be constantly feeding back this value. So when we scroll down, you can see that it's just literally given us a height, which is 724. Now this obviously doesn't match uh, the value that we have in uh, style.css, uh, but this is the height of the entire inside, uh, so the scrollable area essentially. But this it still is inaccurate because we need to go ahead and remove or, or minus um, the inner height. Um, and that essentially means that uh, it will match up to the correct value.